Bretman is gonna see this video because you guys are gonna tweet it to him uh, anyway anyhow everybody just tweet it to Bretman so he can see our beautiful faces and his beautiful highlighters on it okay mm. thank you Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, me and Michaela are going to review the Morphe Times Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise <laughs> Paradise Palette. So she's gonna read. Well, I'll read the box first, and then she'll read like the inside of what it says. But all it says is, "Welcome to Highlighter Paradise. Who better than Bretman Rock to handpick six darling creamy highlighters to sue every Morphe babe under the sun." Beach, please. You've never seen or felt highlighters this bomb before. Pair with our custom fan brush and you're good to glow. So the packaging on the outside is cute, right? Really freaking cute. It's actually really pretty, but it's so lightweight. Everything is so lightweight. And then he's on the back of the box. And then she has the palette. Can okay. you focus? Like, yeah, hold on. Cause... Not me. Not me. <laughs> It's we'll just we'll insert yeah. up close of it or whatever. Hold on, let me put us back in so focus. Pretty. It has little hummingbirds. I didn't see that. I know it's literally Hawaii oh, or crap. Hawaii. How does he say Hawaii? Hawaii. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, on the inside it says Malaho for supporting. Right, ma ma Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> we watched his review too, and we can't literally. Speak. It's okay. I know I have a speech problem. Mahalo for supporting your faith, babe in paradise. Growing up on the island gave me a diverse perspective on life that I want to share with you. I hope this palette captures the essence of paradise beauty. Bye, bitch. <laughs> we love Bremen Rock. So. Literally. Um, okay, so the way we're going to do this video is obviously we're going to apply it. She already has highlighter on, but she only has the um, Rizzi highlighter on, and she has like a light layer of it. It's not like too intense right now. And we're going to go through like the shades, and sorry, she's going to pick um, what shade she wants to use to try on for you, and obviously I'm going to do the same. But obviously we're different colors. Like, she's white, and I'm a brown. <laughs> I'm translucent. <laughs> And we're going to swatch it in our arms so that way you guys can see the difference of how the highlighters perform. And then, oh yeah, I was going to ask you. So, she has the Omrezy highlighter. I'm getting the Omrezy highlighter. So, if you guys want us to do, like, another video of us showing the Omrezy highlighter swatches, we can do that for you. Since we're two different colors and I know my viewers are, like, different skin tones. So, I think that would be a good idea. Also, the, the um, palette came with a brush. It's cute. It's just a fan brush. And it just but says it's his cute name. though. So he said it was supposed to look like a palm tree, and to be honest, like in the video, I was like, "How the hell does that look like a palm tree?" But like now in person, I can see it. Because like obviously a fan brush, it's supposed to be spread open. So regardless, but and the the um, brush hairs of this one is uh, natural fibers. No. -uh. Yeah. He said he made it that way. I forgot why though. But with, with this, you have to be careful. He said when it dries, like, you have to let it dry. You can't, like, touch it or anything, so. Yeah. But, like, it's light. Like, I feel like it's super light. It moves. Everything it about moves. it is light. It's soft, though. But, like, this seems thick. So I feel like it's just going to look so freaking good if you apply it with that. Oh, wait, Compared you to that? your, um. It's your, right there. Like, your, her, this is her fan brush. And this one is the Sigma fan brush F F42. Mm. So this and this, like, compared, that's a huge difference. Literally. But I like this fan brush because I used her fan brush before and I like the way it applies. But to be honest, I'm not a fan of fan brushes. I'm not a fan of fan brushes. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I think he did a good job, though. And I haven't even touched it. And I had the palette for two, three days now. She mm -hmm. doesn't have the palette, though, but I'm a good friend, so I let her use it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, should we do the swatches first? Like, should we feel it first and then, like? Yeah. So 
yeah, the way that we're going to do this is we're obviously going to touch and play with the highlighters first and put it on our hand. And then I'm going to insert like close-ups. But I didn't want to do the swatches first and then us tell you because then it wouldn't be the first impression. Okay, so we're gonna like go through the names of the palette. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, oh yeah, we're gonna also insert the way he says them because it's just Bretman vibes. Bretman's <laughs> Bretman, and I can't read properly. Okay, so the lightest one right here. We'll insert it closer. Yeah, it's called Bebe Girl. Yeah, yeah, that's how he says it. Okay, and then the middle one. Well, we want to swatch it first. Okay, okay. Way. You can go first, man. He said this one was supposed to have like a pinky undertone. Yeah, it's like a pink iridescent. Oh, my nails are so long for this. Would you like me to use my finger? No. Because I have to feel <laughs> it. <laughs> it's really smooth. The like one, it's literally just pink. Ooh, that was a good swatch. It's really subtle, like... Where's our phone lights? Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty. That would look nice on you. If I wanted to, you know. Go it reminds it. me of um the Kat Von D palette. The pink in it. Yeah. But this one is like more of a subtle. Subtle one. And like the, the shimmers in it are smaller. It's not as chunky. You know what I mean? I haven't used that other one in forever, but yeah. It's pretty. It's really freaking soft. And that was with one swatch. I think the way we'll do our swatches is we'll do one like layer and then we'll do another layer over top so you can see what it looks like buildable. So then the next shade is Vacation, right? Vaga Vacation. I don't know how to freaking say it. Vacation. Because, you know, hello, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Here, go first because I take forever to swatch this thing. Dang, that one looked like it swatched better. That's so pretty. Oh my god. I'm not stealing this. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that's so pretty. Man. Honestly, that's like the perfect amount of gold for me. I have like a pinky undertone. I'm like neutral pink because I have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of like rosacea in my T zone. Even though I have a pinky undertone, this is gonna be like the perfect amount of gold for me it's pretty it really is on my skin tone i mean it's pretty but i feel like it will sit on top of my skin like it wouldn't blend in you know yeah because like that's it without it's too light for you but I, if i mix it we'll have to see how the other ones work but if i mix it it'll work but that's pretty for like an eyeshadow or brow bone highlight for you yeah but for the me, pink it's pretty decent like anybody can wear that pink shade mm -hmm. but i think for the second shade the vacation or vacation, whatever yeah. it's yeah it's gonna have to like see how it works on your skin tone because i'm like more warm yeah warm I'm like a neutrally tone. pink i am I like everything under the sun i like that it doesn't have a lot of glitters it's more of a sheeny yeah kind of highlighter it's not just like a sparkle how the hell do you pronounce this? Mahu? Yeah. I feel like this one's going to be too dark for me. But, like, Bretman is not not too light and not too dark. And, like, he can wear that highlighter. So, I feel like, I don't know. Okay, but my ass is translucent. <laughs> so, watch it on you. All of these are so... Yeah, See, you can wear that. Okay, maybe if, you know my body would like to tan a little bit and i'm not like a winter shade all year round this would look good on me you know if i actually tan you could use those shades as an eyeshadow yeah you definitely could I the first two 100 percent though is okay with my complexion i think the that shade the third shade mahu whatever reminds me of a highlighter that i have i don't know which one though but it's pretty I'm gonna go get it. I have to see. Here, hold this. Actually, it's like lighter, a little bit lighter. Lighter and like peachy, yeah. 
Because, like, it looks the same. Yeah, it does. Like, lightness, but that one has more of, like, a rose gold undertone, and that's just, like, plain gold. Yeah, we'll do a close-up of what it looks like side by side, but it's different. Definitely different. Definitely different. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it could be close to the vacation. Mm-hmm. It just, the vacation doesn't have that warm undertone. Kind of has more of a neutral undertone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. You want to get laid? Yeah. Okay. By you. <laughs> I need my okay. But you still snore. Because <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Honestly, that looks, looks more like... like champagne pop than any of them oh it has that undertone yeah yeah it has the same undertone get laid looks like champagne pop just a little bit this one's still warmer champagne pop is still warmer yeah they're both pretty and then i feel like get laid kind of reminds me of vacation but like i said vacation vacation doesn't have that warm undertone yeah like, it kind of like neutral. reminds you of that yeah I feel like I'm not this low key my favorite one so far. Really? Where did I put the? Yeah. I feel like I'm not like really touching it because I have nails. If that makes sense. So I'm not like really feeling it. True. So I was excited for this next. Oh, uh, there's my phone. Oh, ready? Let me say this. I was so excited for this because it's pink rose gold, and I don't have a rose gold highlighter, and rose gold is literally my favorite. Like. Yeah. Gold, and, and I never have birthday. Hey. Hey. Okay, but anyways, I'll let her say it, and then I'll insert Bretman say it. As Bretman would say, this next color is called... <laughs> I just spit on you. Ew. <laughs> Literally, it looks so pretty, though. Let me redo that, because, like... Bretman is going to see this video, because you guys are going to tweet it to him. Uh, anyway, anyhow, everybody just tweet it to Bretman so he can see our beautiful faces and his beautiful highlighters on it. Okay, mm. thank you. Okay, but let me fix this though, because you know, you gotta you gotta perfect it, because it's from Bretman, so. <clears throat> One last time, ready? That one play, better. Play his, play his. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, listen, and then I'll put his like little picture because he looks so funny when he says. <laughs> Literally, his mouth is so freaking big. You watched that video? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know why he's coughing. That has my throat right now. I know, he said he almost lost his voice. Literally. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be me. <laughs> okay, okay. They just look so wet, like even with the swatchings from right there. I'm excited. No, I'm wet. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, that's so pretty. See? OMG, I like it. Let me put the flash. That's so pretty. So that looks so pretty as an eyeshadow too. Yeah, for me it's too dark, sadly. I wonder, I don't know how that will look on me. You know, because it's a color. And it's not like I a I mean, pink. if you do like a blushy look. A blush topper. Mm-hmm. But I want to wear that as a highlight, but it will look pink on my skin. Maybe not if you like blend it out and actually use the fan brush or something, you know? Yeah. I feel like... For being like a rose gold shade, it has a lot of pink pigment mm. to it. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm, I think I'm going to try that one on to see what it looks like. And then I could always add something over it, you know, to ah. probably like tone down the pinkness. But we'll see because like she said, it may apply different with the fan brush. These are just finger swatches. Not really, that's the name of it. Shade yeah, I know. <laughs> that would look so pretty on Joey and Mila. That ass. I feel like those two combine on both of them too. Those are our other friends, and they're dark and beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> they do Yo, that, I but miss Joey. I know she needs to come back. <clears throat> okay, so this one is obviously too dark for me. It's still freaking beautiful. La. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Cause the way I did the swatch, I said. Bronze. Very bronze. 
It looks more like orangey on you. Side by side. Yeah. It's just for the first skin tones. It's pretty. You can definitely see the gold in it. That's so pretty. I'm going to take this. Goodbye. <laughs> I wish Joey was here or Mila. So you guys could see what the darkest shade looks like on a deeper skin tone. Because I can't wear that shade. Unless I sure I, as hell can wear that shade. <laughs> unless I mix it with the lightest shade, then I probably could get away with it. But you won't see like the true color or whatever of it. Yeah. It's pretty though. But from swatching it, I like it so far. Um, I like that it's a sheen more than a glitter. Because to be honest, I prefer, prefer more of a sheen highlighter than like glitter. So... The Trophy Wife Highlighter by Rihanna, I like it, but I couldn't wear that on a daily because it's just like pure shimmers. And obviously not everybody wears glitter on their face every single day. Like sometimes you want a more subtle highlight. And from the swatches, it does seem more subtle. And then you can build it up from what I think. What do you think? Definitely. I mean, looking at it now, honestly, the deeper ones... Okay, so now we're going to um, each pick a shade and apply it so you guys can see the way it performs and how we feel about it on our actual face. I'm debating on get laid and vacation. Okay, while she's applying that, I think I'm going to do the... You can make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> My voice cracked. I couldn't do it properly. I'm going to do it on one side and then I'm going to do... Uh, get laid because then we can do two of them that looks so freaking pretty right it looks I wet mean, right now honestly it's a little bit too dark for me like which one is that um the, this is vacation and this is get laid let me see the other side turn that one they're both pretty though um, you can definitely see the pink pigment that I was talking about yeah but it's not as strong as I thought it was going to be like if I were to apply that one yeah it's still very like looks wet but it's like not blended because it looks like a line it doesn't look blended like yours. Because look in the camera, you can see that there's a line. True. Okay, so we're back. So we pretty much, I would say, used all the shades in the palette mm -hmm. on each other. Like, she used the lighter ones. I used the darker ones. And then I used Baby Girl on the inner corners. Um, My final thoughts on the Bretman Rock Times Babe in Paradise palette thing, whatever. I like it. I just have to play around with it more because I feel like it sits weird on my skin. And you guys can uh, kind of tell on camera. And then from in person, she can tell that it does sit a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I do have to play around with it. Sometimes it can just be the brush. And I have a lot of different brushes that I use to apply highlighters. And then obviously I'm going to use this in more tutorials coming up. So you guys will know my thoughts on the palette. And yeah, so what do you think? I honestly think it sits better with my skin tone. Even though I thought it was going to be for darker complexions. Even the darker, like... I used the first one in the second row, Get Laid. I thought that was going to be way too dark for me. And honestly, that's the one that sit better on my face. Because we did two different kinds on each cheek. Each cheek. That's the one that sat better with me, so... I mean, they're really pigmented. They're really soft. Like, I like it. I and you don't even get it. She likes it. She doesn't even have it. Literally, like, <laughs> I want to go get it now. My and broke ass needs it. And it's not even expensive. I think it's like twenty nine or twenty eight dollars, and you get a brush with it. But Did I don't know. know that? Yeah, the brush comes with it. I mean, I know it came with it, but I don't know how much it was. Yeah, I think it's $29. I don't know. I'll have it somewhere like floating on the screen. And then if you use his coupon code, you save like $2. So you get it cheaper. And then with shipping, I think they only paid like $33 for the whole thing. So I would say it's worth it for the money because it's six, um, six eyeshadows. Or not eyeshadows. Well, you could use them as eyeshadows. But it's six highlighters 
for, I'm just going to say $34. So, 34 divided by 6. And a brush. And a brush. So, it's like $5 and change for each highlighter, not including the brush. So, honestly, that's not bad. That's like the price of a Wet n Wild uh, highlighter. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Bretman did something. I Literally. So, I'm looking nice and dewy for summer. Yeah, for real. It's going to be like a very nice palette for summer. Especially, I feel like no makeup days, just concealer and stuff. Yeah. It will look better. I feel like it will melt more into the skin. Oh, yeah. We even sprayed our face with the Mario Badescu, like the spray that I always use in all my videos. And I didn't really look at it to see if it helped. I, I still feel like it's sitting there. Like it didn't melt it in. But like no, I said, I'll I try see. it. It helped a little bit, honestly. On this side, at least. Yeah. It helped it a little bit, yeah. but you can still see that it's there. See. Yeah. It's not like blended properly. But yeah. Okay, you guys. Well, this is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed our review. I think I'm going to do more like reviews when it comes to highlighters and probably like different tones of stuff so like bronzers maybe i don't know like if we buy the same highlighter or something i could do more reviews with her that way you can see the difference on our skin tone like i said earlier because i think that'll be really helpful for a lot of people and yeah um we'll talk to you guys in my next video bye, bye.